Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the fourth question of exercise 9.2. Uh, this question has two parts, and we are going to solve the first part in this video. Uh, question says it is given that P is a point in the interior of a parallelogram ABCD. You have to show that that the area of triangle APB plus the area of triangle PCD is equal to half of the area of parallelogram ABCD. Now, uh, this is a parallelogram given to you ABCD in which the opposite sides must be parallel. Parallelogram has equal and parallel opposite sides. These two sides must be equal and parallel and these two sides must be equal and parallel. You have to prove that the sum of the area of these two triangles DPC and APB the sum of these two triangles is equal to half of the area of this parallelogram. For that what you have to do is first of all from this point P you have to draw a parallel line with this DC. Okay. So let's draw a parallel line. So let's say this is uh, this is the parallel line cutting AD at M, cutting BC at N. So we have to do a construction here, and the construction is draw a parallel line. Mn parallel to DC and Mn should pass through P. Okay, now uh, it should be a bit higher. Okay, it should cut here. Now, in this quadrilateral, M, N, C, D. So, in this quadrilateral, we know that this line is parallel to this line by construction. And because these two lines are parallel in a parallelogram, so clearly these two lines must also be parallel. Okay, so the first in first case. Mn must be parallel to DC. This is our first equation. And because AD is parallel to BC, parallel lines of parallelogram. Therefore, MD must be parallel to NC. This is our second equation. Obviously, these complete lines are parallel because these are the parallel lines of a parallelogram. So obviously, these two segments must also be parallel. Okay. This is our second equation. So if I compare by, by using first, by using equation first and second. In this quadrilateral, M, D, C, and in this quadrilateral, I have proved that this line is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to this line. That means the opposite sides of this quadrilateral are parallel and that means this quadrilateral must be a parallelogram. By using first and second, I can say that quadrilateral M, N, C, D, M, N, C, D, is a parallelogram okay by these two equations I can say that quadrilateral MNCD is a parallelogram now in this quadrilateral MNCD there are two figures the first is this quadrilateral and the second is this triangle DPC okay so I can say that parallelogram MNCD 
and triangle DPC. That is DPC. These both figures lie on the same base that is DC and they are between the same parallel. Okay, parallelogram this and triangle this lie on the same base and between the same parallel. That means if a triangle and a parallelogram lie on the same base and between the same parallel, in that case the area of this triangle, area of triangle D, P, C must be equal to half of the area of this parallelogram M N C D. And this is our third equation. Similarly, in this quadrilateral A M N B, you can prove that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram, and in this quadrilateral and this triangle A P B again lie on the same base A B. And they are between the same parallel. Okay. So instead of writing all this, I can write similarly. I can say that because quadrilateral and triangle lie on the same base and between the same parallel, means the area of triangle APB, that is APB, the area of this triangle must be equal to half of the area of parallelogram A M N B. This is our fourth equation. Now what we have to do is we have to add equation third and equation fourth. Now if I add these two this plus this will be area of triangle DPC plus area of triangle APB must be equal to half of the area of MN MNCD plus half of the area of AMNB AMNB okay so now adding these two equations I'll get this so this is same as this PCD is this PCD and A, APB is this APB that is equal to half of the area of parallelogram ABCD and these two parallelogram when added or can, you can say when combined will give this complete parallelogram so area of this is PCD plus area of APB will be equal to half of the area of ABCD. So this is how you can prove this particular question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.